so good morning everyone my name is aniket so uh, today we are going to see this uh, thermal problem so uh, we will consider a simple rectangle and we will apply temperature nodal temperatures we will apply to the right side nodes of uh, 20 degree celsius and to the left side nodes we will apply nodal temperatures of 200 degree celsius and we will see the temperature distribution of this okay so this rectangle is of 100 by 100 now we will mesh this rectangle so i'll go to mesh fe mesh quad mesh so in this quad mesh we will select this surface and we will type the initial size let's, uh, let us consider 5 and apply so this is the mesh created now I'll just uh, hide this node numbering so this is the mesh we have if we want to decrease the mesh uh, density I'll make this 10 and click on apply so this is my mesh now what I will do, I will go to loads boundary condition, displacement boundary conditions and this displacement boundary, instead of this displacement boundary condition we will go to heat transfer boundary condition. Since this is a, a thermal problem we will go to heat transfer boundary conditions. We have nodal temperatures, we can give convection, conduction here we have as well as radiation. So I will go to nodal temperatures. And so in the right side nodes I'll give temperature of let us consider 20 degree Celsius apply and to the left side uh, right uh, left side nodes I'll apply temperature of 200 degree Celsius and I'll click on apply again so we have two temperatures at the right side nodes we have 20 degree Celsius and at the left side we have 200 degree Celsius I'll go to properties, material, and thermal material. Add. So uh, I'll select all these elements, and here we will consider this as a steel. So for steel, we have 36 watt per meter square degree Celsius as conductivity K. So if we convert this to mm, I'll get 0 0.036 in x as well as in y. I'll click on apply. Then I'll set the analysis type as heat transfer steady state and I'll click on apply. So here as you can see the analysis type is set. I'll go to analysis option so uh, we have two solvers for linear solving we have multifrontal and for eigen solver we have lens up we'll click on apply and then I'll click on this run solver we have run solver option here as well as we have here so we'll click on this I'll save it with a name heat transfer and I'll click on this yeah yes button but here as you can see the name of the solver is fist SMT analysis type will be heat transfer steady state data file will be dot dat and the result file which we will get will be dot out i'll click on yes now as you can see this problem is solved within one second i'll go to post contour in this we will select temperature and i'll click on apply so you can see the temperature distribution of this So this is the temperature distribution here we have applied 200 degree celsius and here we have 20 degree celsius the heat will flow from this so if you want to see the temperature at the nodal points we'll directly click on this points so as you can see at this node we have a temperature of 183 
degree Celsius at this point we have 85 degree Celsius and if we want to plot a graph of this I'll go to post path plot in this path plot uh, we have a nodal path so I'll select this nodal path and I'll click on apply so as you can see we have a graph of distance versus the temperature as the distance is increasing the temperature is increasing so if you want to uh, store this file I'll go to post post file and it will be stored here with name dot out I'll click on apply and I'll go to that location hit transfer out out file we have here I'll open this file so as you can see we have temperature nodal temperatures you can see from here on the first node it is 20 degrees Celsius from say the second onward it has started increasing so you can see the total number of degrees of freedom will be 120 and the time taken will be this much So thank you.